Sound speed. Uh, uh, mark. And action. The Sky Tower is a, is a home built at 3,000 feet above the ground. This is almost like a station. It's almost like a military outpost. It's a living quarters, but it's also a working environment. It's a three-level home that's on this tiny little spindle. Obviously, that's not something you could build, but I felt like we could get close. Before the movie started principal photography, we went to Haleakala, a volcano in Maui. We set up three cameras that captured sky, cloud, sunrise, sunset, stars. Then we took that footage and we front projected it on a massive screen that surrounded the set. It gave the film a very epic feeling. If we were to do this blue screen, all that blue that you'd see outside the windows would spill into all these surfaces and all this glass, and that would be a virtual nightmare to have to paint out and deal with in visual effects. So the opportunity to get that stuff in camera was the critical design feature in this whole set. There is no blue screen. I mean, what you're seeing is the final product. And we're able to you know, change the weather. It's sunset, and the next day is daylight, and we have night, and all the clouds are moving. It's all pretty amazing. And what that allowed us to do is to not only capture it in camera, but use the reflected light of that footage to actually light the sets and the actors. The lighting that you're getting on the actors' faces is the same type of light they get in a sunset because it's literally footage of a sunset. You end up with an all-in-camera visual effect and a visual quality that just can't be faked. And the actors really enjoy it, too, because they're actually in a place that has clouds surrounding them. <laughs> it does help as an actor, uh, not acting green screen. It's interactive, so you don't have to try to imagine something. You're there with the other actors. It felt very organic. Now, that was take two. It's fantastic. This is an amazing piece of art. I want to stay here and live here. I want to move in. It was the most beautiful set I've ever shot on. It allows them to even kind of immerse themselves more deeply in the story because they're surrounded by it. So that's something I'm really excited about that we were able to do on this movie.